Good morning, good morning, beautiful people. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning. Welcome to Money Matters with P Mathis. If you are new here, you know, you don't know that I'm here every Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, talking about money matters, ways to build a better financial future. Excuse me, y'all. I'm tired. Y'all probably can see it in my face, but um, it's tax season, but I'm showing up and I'm making it happen for you guys each and every day. Today, uh, if you were not here yesterday, you know today our topic is uh, know where your money is going. So we're going to be talking about that and I want to jump right into it, okay? Let me share my screen with you guys. One second. Here we go. Let's make it. Let's get it crack a -lack. All right. Let me make this big. My face is going to go away for a while while I do this presentation. Just so you guys know, please put your comments in the live. Um, if you're on Clubhouse, you may want to go ahead and get on YouTube so that you can see the visuals that I have here. By going to YouTube and typing in um, at P. Mathis and Associates, you will be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you may want to get into YouTube so you can see this visual. Uh, everybody on Facebook should be able to see this already. And as well as if you're on YouTube, you should be able to see this. But if you're on Clubhouse, you want to go ahead and get on YouTube so that you can see this um, visual that I'm going to be showing you guys, okay? If you're not already following me, please make sure you're following me. You have the notification button on so that you know when I go live. Also, if you can hear the sound of my voice, please like and share this video and drop me some hearts and comments. Um, that really helps us get to more of our people to help them build a better financial future. So if you can do that for me, it would be greatly appreciated. And I'm going to get started. Uh, I want to move this. This is what I want to do. Come on. Be nice. My mouse is not being nice. I'm trying to... Uh, make it big for you guys there we go now they want to be nice all right here we go let's get started know where your money goes okay so we're talking about knowing where your money goes i want you all to know that it is possible to gain control of your financial situation but first you must organize where your money goes good morning destiny okay so things that you should be doing to um track your money and knowing where it goes first thing first you should open a savings account and listen y'all if i have any typos please forgive me because i'm making these powerpoints like in the wee hours of the morning so that i can be ready for y'all after i'm finished working so please forgive me i can spell i just be having some typos sometimes because i be going fast but yo i can spell okay so open savings account you want to open a bill account and you want to open a miscellaneous account so that's if you not you haven't already done so what you need is three bank accounts for this technique to work for you and you to gain control of your money so again i need you to open a savings account a bill account and a miscellaneous account and we're going to talk a little bit about what each one of those uh accounts do for you and how you're able to track your money better hey ruth how are you if you can hear me in clubhouse go to youtube that way you can see the visual that i am sharing on um, YouTube and Facebook, and you can find it by just typing in at P Mathis and Associates, or you can type in Money Matters with P Mathis, and it should come up for you. Okay. If you are married, live off one income and save the other. We'll get into that a little later. Um, I think I'm probably going to do a separate live on that so I can kind of under um, explain to you guys how that works. Excuse me. So if you are married, you want to live off one income and save the other. So if you and one, if you have a spouse, and even if you're not married, if you're if you're living together, right? If you have a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, entanglement, whatever the hell you got going on, you need to be living off one um a, a income. Me personally, as a woman, I believe that you should, as a woman, if you're laying up with a man, you need to be living off his income. It is his job to provide for you and protect you and make sure you have the necessary things to survive on a day-to-day -day basis. I ain't talking about hair and nails, but I'm talking about rent. I'm talking about lights, normal stuff that he would already have before he got you. So lights, rent, um, you know, uh, water, stuff like that. He needs to be taking care of that. That's just my belief. You don't have to follow that belief. But that's what I believe you should be doing if you laid up with a man that say that he cares and wants to take care of you. That's being a provider, period, point blank. And that's it. 
So if you're married or in a relationship and you're shacking up or whatever you want to call it, you need to be living off one income and saving the other. So I'm not saying that you have to not work. But if you're going to be with a man, you need to make sure that he has that at least that first foundation, that first layer for you when you come into that picture with him. OK, and I ain't talking about somebody that ain't, you know, y'all ain't got nothing. A man that can't do that should not be laid up with no woman, period. Let leave that man alone. Let him get his life together. All right. Next, jot down everything you could remember that you spent on um, last month if you don't have a bank account. So basically you want to get a piece of paper or you can get on your computer if you have a computer and start writing down everything that you spent last month, what you bought and what you spent on it last month, okay? So let's move on. Next, if you have a bank account, these are for the people that already have a bank account, I want you to pull your last bank statements and highlight all your debits and then organize those transactions by type. So when I'm talking about type, I'm talking about gas, uh, electricity, miscellaneous, whatever it is, you need to go ahead and label it and then group all of them together and get a total so we can see how much you're spending in certain areas every month. Okay. I'm also, I also have an example for you guys here. So you kind of see what I do in my house with my finances. So I'll, I have a little demo to show you guys later on after we go through these points. Okay. If you have credit cards, um, not everybody have credit cards, but some people do. So if you have credit cards, you want to go ahead and pull those as well and look at those transactions and see what you're doing with your credit cards and making sure you're not spending over 30%. Uh, I usually say I usually bring it down to 25 percent just to give you that uh, leeway. But you don't definitely don't want to be going over 30 percent of your um, usage amount. OK, be sure to write everything down you bought and how much it costs. I mean, everything, everything. I don't care if it was a dollar. Write it down. That includes your rent, car insurance, groceries, small purchases such as coffee or snacks and fees from the bank or your credit cards. If you need a spreadsheet to help you with this, let me know. I have one that I created. And if you are in this uh, live, I will give it to you for a discounted price. Um, I will give it to you for $10. Um, we're actually getting ready to put it into one of my new eBooks, but I will give it to you guys for $10 and you guys will be able to use it. And you'll be able to see a little bit, a, kind of a sample of it in a minute um, after I leave here. Um, plug spending leak. So like, okay, so like this is like, well, a spending leak is something where you go and you just buy stuff haphazardly, like spare the moment stuff. You just um, buy it. You want to look at those things and then you want to try to kind of control when you're spending, just just spending just as you spend, because that stuff adds up over time and that can get to a bit, very pricey um, number at the end of the month if you're not paying attention. So you need to pay attention to that haphazardly spending that you may or may not be doing. OK, mm -hmm. turn off overdraft protection with your bank. And you're probably saying, P. Mathis, what the hell? I'm not turning that off. I don't want my account to go over in overdraft. No, you won't go in overdraft because what's going to happen? You're going to go back to the old days. What's going to happen when they turn that off? If you do not have the money in your account to cover that transaction, it is not going to go through. If you have the overdraft protection on there, it's going to go through as well as charge you an overdraft protection fee. Remove that from all your bank accounts where you have debit cards. You do not want to be going into overdraft with your banks. That's going to cost you more and more money as time comes. You don't want to be giving away money. We are not in the business of giving away money. We're in the business of making money, growing it, and saving it. So you want to be careful with that overdraft protection because that can cost you a lot of money if you swipe and swipe and swipe it, and they covering it. And then you gotta you gotta go and pay that on top of the fee. So be very careful with what you're doing, okay, when you um are using your debit card. Okay, so then after you get all that stuff set up, you want to tell your money which accounts to go to, okay? What, does, what is this going to look like? So I'm going to give you an example of what this is going to look like. So here's an example, right? So Jane takes home $1,800 every two weeks. Jane's fixed monthly expenses are $19.35, and her variable expenses are estimated at $600. In total, her projected monthly expenses are $25.35. Where should Jane tell her money to go each pay period, okay? I'm going to do this a little slow, guys, because I know y'all don't do numbers. Y'all know I'm a numbers woman, so I'm going to do this slow, but we're going to talk about it. So the breakdown, how did I get those numbers? So we know that Jane's get paid every two weeks, $1,800, okay? So $1,800 times 
times two because we know at least she's going to get paid at least twice in a month. And we'll talk about those months where you get paid three times. Um, it's $3,600. So we're going to work with the $3,600 and tell that money where to go. Okay. First thing first, if you know anything about me, I'm a, I'm a firm believer in paying yourself first. So Jane will need to pay herself first $500 into her savings. So she will need to tell that check to put $500 into her savings. I'm going to tell you how you can do that with your employer by simply uh, filling out um, your direct deposit form differently and giving them line items, um, uh, allocating your money to different bank accounts. We'll talk about that um, in a minute. Okay. So you want your savings. Of course, before you anything, you want to cover your life. So you should have life insurance. You shouldn't have insurance on anything else if you don't have it on yourself. I would rather be homeless and have life insurance than being paying rent and don't have life insurance because you need to cover yourself before you cover anybody. So pay yourself and cover yourself. First thing that you should be doing with your money when you make your money, period, point and blank. Okay, listen, savings, then life insurance. So then she has rent. Jane should not be paying more than um, 30 percent of what she's bringing in. So her rent cannot go over 1080. She should not be paying more than 1080. But. If she can get it down, that would be better. But if she go up, that's not good for her. Do not go up if you um over thirty percent of what you're making. You don't want to do that. That's not. That's a bad, bad, bad idea. You do not want to do that. Um, that will um mess up your uh savings and your financial situation real, real quick. Um, because you will be overspending and living above your means. Rental insurance. A lot of people don't have it, but you need to have rental insurance. If you're renting, you need to have rental insurance. Just like if you have a mortgage, you need to have homeowner's insurance. So if you're renting, you need to have rental insurance just in case something happened to your things, you will be covered. That is important. So y'all might look at this light bill and water bill. I'm going off of where I am and what it projectly looked like sometimes during the month. Um, this is water in light bill, and this is in Ocala, Florida. It's about $180 total. So she Jane has $180 total of light bill. Jane is single, and that, that may even be cheaper because that's I'm doing that off of three people home. Jane may even be cheaper, which that anything that's uh less than that, she will put that in her savings. She'll move that to her savings. So then her phone bill is probably uh $80 or less. Hopefully, it's not more than $80. I wouldn't recommend it being. More than that, um, as a single person, because that means you only have one phone and you should be paying no more than that for one phone. So she have eighty dollars. And let's say that Jane has a car note and she's not paying no more than three fifty on that car note. She shouldn't even try to pay anything more than three fifty on a car note. And then her car insurance are no more it's more no more than a hundred dollars. Remember, Jane had credit cards, so Jane's gonna be paying about two hundred dollars in credit card fees, variable costs. We're talking about gas and groceries, about roughly four hundred dollars a month. And then we have miscellaneous, that's petty cash. That's where she gets her free money, and she's able to do what she wants to do with that money and or however she please with that money. Which brings us to the thirty six hundred dollars. All right. So what is Jane gonna tell her money to do? Every month, Jane is projected to save $500. So when she get paid, which is she's getting paid bi-weekly, Jane needs to tell her employer to send $250 to her savings account. She would never see that. She's not even going to see it in her uh, main account where she's going to get it deposited, right? Jane also needs to tell her uh, employer to send $100. Well, went $1,267.50 to her bill account, which is going to cover her monthly expenses. We'll get into that and how this works later, how this program works. And then miscellaneous is a $282.50. She has $282.50 that she can play with. That's what she's playing with. She can go and do whatever she want to do with that money until she get paid again in two weeks. Now, as she begin to make more money, that miscellaneous account can increase. But right now, all when she see her paycheck, all she should see in the account where she have a debit card is $282 and whatever she had left over from the last time that she got paid, which will bring her, uh, you see the monthly $500 for savings because she's going to meet her bill quota and she's going to have at least $565 to spend through the month of free money to do whatever she wants to do. Remember, gas and groceries is already covered, so she's not worrying about that. The miscellaneous, that's that's my new. You don't need a whole lot of money to be playing with. You want to be making sure you're putting away money for a rainy day and preparing for your future. So you can, if two, 300, almost $300 every two weeks to just play with, that's good. I, I think that is good, and I think that should work for someone that's making this amount of money, okay? So 
Know where your money goes. It's possible to gain control of your financial situation, but you first must recognize where your money goes. My question to you guys is, are you ready to take control of your finances? Do you need a money coach? If you don't already know, I am P. Mathis. I can help you with taxes, business coaching, personal coaching, money coaching, tax services, bookkeeping, credit repair, and more. But if you need a money coach, please let me know because I do money coaching and I would love to work with you and help you get your finances together. Now, let me stop sharing this screen. If you have any questions about what I just went over today, um, Mr. Viet, if you want to see the screen of what I just put up, please go to YouTube. You can see uh, you can use YouTube and be able to put your comments in YouTube. Just go to YouTube and type in Money Matters with P. Mathis or you can type in at P. Mathis and um, P. Mathis and Associates and it will come up. Mr. Viet, um, that way I you can see what I just went over um, because there was a digital screen, uh, digital platform here where I actually showed you a visual and I think that will help you a lot. OK, the floor is open and I'm going to uh, let you talk. Viet. Let me turn on your mic. The floor is open for anyone that has any questions for me. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Mr. Viet, you're in Clubhouse. If you have any questions for me, the floor is yours. Thank you. I am very grateful that you have this space wide open on Clubhouse. And I'm amazed that um, you are just rocking what you do. And I'm inspired to uh, book an appointment with you. Awesome. Um, because I think that I will be in good care. <laughs> um, you will be. When I talk to you about, you know, just moving moving over um, my financial situation okay. and having you take a look at it. And, you can you look, know, if you look at my Insta if you look at my Instagram, you can click on the link and you can book your appointment. There should be, um, you should see the link for um, financial coaching in there. And if you don't, just send me an inbox and I'll send you a special link. Especially since you attended Clubhouse you will get a special discount. So just send me a message in Clubhouse so I can create you a special link because you'll get a discounted rate. Yeah, I, I, mean, I just, you know, I, I try to feel out energy. And every time I meet wonderful people on Clubhouse, I, I try to pay attention to what they're actually doing. And awesome. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to be in this space with you right now. Oh, thank you so much, Viet. Thank you for attending. Thank you for paying attention. Please tell your friends about us. I'm here every Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern time, giving money matters tips and helping people build a better financial future. So if you know anyone that is looking to build a better financial future, please um, put them in my direction. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and, I, and I'm calling from San Diego, California. All right, San Diego. I'm meeting yeah. people from all over the world. I met. I got a new client from Michigan one from New York. Now you're in San Diego. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. You're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Anybody in the audience on the live and Facebook or YouTube have any questions, go ahead and drop your comments now. If you don't, we're going to close this uh, live out and then I will see you guys tomorrow. Let me give you guys our topic tomorrow, our handy dandy notebook. You know, if you have a topic that you want me to discuss, please drop them in the comments and I will write them down and I will for sure do a live on that topic um, so that I'm helping you the best way possible. And our topic for tomorrow. Oh, you guys are going to like this. So for you guys that are in business that wanted to know how to make the business Google account and the um, Google Voice account, I'm going to actually walk through that with you. What I'm going to do is create a dummy account and then show you guys how to make that work for you in your business uh, for free. And you don't have to worry about paying for like a business email and a business phone. You can actually use Google until you actually get your funds up where you actually can afford to pay for that email at your company in your in an actual company phone. So we're going to be talking about that tomorrow. But in the meantime, before we get out of here, does anyone have any questions about tracking their funds? and how to get it to go where you want it to go via um, by telling your payroll uh, department what to do with your money. Anybody have any questions on that? Thank you, T. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Destiny say good morning. Good morning, Destiny. T, Paul, 
say this was awesome. Thank you. You are very welcome. Thank you for attending. Please like and share this video. This really does help me help other people. That is my main goal is to help us build a better financial future. And if we don't know better, we can't do better. So the more people we can get in front of, the more people we can help in our community and begin to see things change for us financially anybody have any questions if you don't have any questions right now and later on you watch the replay and you be like you know what i need to find out about that um just get with me and i will be more than happy to answer your questions under the video just put it under the video and i'll answer them if you need the spreadsheet where you can actually i can you can actually go ahead and put it in and i'll have it where it just calculate and populate the numbers for you we can do that as well um, everybody's spreadsheet will be a little bit different. So if you want to do that one-on-one -on -one with me, let me know and I'll get you that spreadsheet and we can do a one-on-one -on -one and um, tweak it with, um, you can tweak it with me, okay? Doesn't look like anyone has any questions today, which is good. That means that that was simple and to the point and it made sense to you guys. So I definitely wanted it to make sense to you guys. I don't want to talk over your head. I want to make sure I'm bringing it down to actually speak like I'm speaking to someone that just don't know accounting and don't know about um finances so i'm trying to make sure it's simple it's short simple and to the point for you guys to get it so if in the mean if you have any questions later on feel free to put your um, comments under the uh video and i would definitely i promise i will get back to you um y'all know if you're not following me on clubhouse please do so at p at uh boss accountant also, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that and turn on the notification bell so that you know when I'm going live and you don't miss any of these important videos. But if you do miss them, you always can go back and watch them. If you have any questions for me or you would like to book an appointment or a consultation with me, feel free to text me at 850-692-9829 and just text help. And then I will know what where, I, where you came in from and what you probably need help with. And then I'll get with you. Or you can also call my office at 850-692-9829. More than likely, my receptionist will pick up the phone, but that's okay. Just give them the num give them your um your name, number, email address, and I will get back with you. And of course, give them a message. Don't just give them your name, um, a number, email address, because I need to know what it is, um, why I'm calling you back. So make sure you also give them a message, and I will be more than happy to help you. Guys, thank you so much for always supporting me, always tuning in. I'm going to get out of here because it doesn't look like you guys have any questions. Like I said, it's okay if you don't have any questions right now. If something come up later, always feel free to go ahead and put it up under the um, video that your question pertains to, and I will definitely get back with you. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. I love y'all, and thank you guys for all your support. And uh, later out there in Clubhouse, later, Mr. Viet. We'll see you later, Mr. Via. If you want, everybody go ahead and set your alarms for 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Try your best to get onto YouTube so that we can communicate better on YouTube and we'll all be on YouTube and things won't, it won't be missed because it's not recorded on Clubhouse, but it will be recorded on YouTube and Facebook. And it will be there for you guys to see at a later time. And I will see you guys later. Check my text. I will. I have a whole lot of text, y'all. I promise y'all. I'm going to check my text. Let me check my text while I'm here with you. Okay, let's see. I know I need to check my text. Okay, Destiny, I do see your chat, your text. I'll, I'll call you. I see your text. I'm not going to read that out loud. But I will, I'll call you. I see it. I see it, baby. I got you. Thank you. I promise you I'm not ignoring y'all. I do have a lot of text. Um, trying to get to it. Uh, text messages is just like when you text me on my personal phone, they kind of like go to the wayside during this time of the year. But I see it, love. I got you. All right. Y'all see y'all tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye.